Hi, everybody. Welcome to today's edition of the Gamut Network. Look at this beautiful little girl that we have on the show today. That is Miss Cheyenne and her mom, Melanie. And today, November 16th, is actually somebody's 11th birthday. Who would that be? I don't know. Raise your hand if it's your birthday. Not my birthday. I wish it was. <gasps> it's your birthday. Happy birthday to you. We're so happy you're on the show today. It's nice to meet you, Cheyenne. Hey, nice to meet you. She's <laughs> being a little shy. <laughs> oh, my. So cute. Melanie, let's start with you then. Can you give us a little um, background and history on Cheyenne and, and kind of welcoming her into the family when she was born? So Cheyenne was born 11 years ago today. <sighs> and um, when she was born, I didn't know of her diagnosis until after birth. Um, so her diagnosis was a surprise to me and our family, but um, it's been one of the best surprises, like the most unexpected blessing, um, sorry, emotional and um, that, um that we've ever received. We, we um, so. bring <laughs> I cry all the time, so please. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, it's, it's been a journey. Um, the past 11 years, um, just seeing her blossom, she's overcome a lot of different medical obstacles. Um, she's survived open heart surgery. She had her heart repaired at the age of five. Um, when she was born, we were in the hospital for about two months in intensive care. She needed a feeding tube and um, she had that removed at the age of seven. Mm -hmm. um, and she's, it, she's been uh, hospitalized. Uh, no. Or was it through her stomach? Was it through, uh, through her or stomach? Through her stomach. Okay. Um, so she, she's over, she's had a few other hospital stays for um, respiratory illnesses, but, and she's just, um, God's, brought her through them all and and just to watch her blossom and grow and it's just, she, she was like I said it was an unexpected blessing and better than my wildest dreams yeah. <laughs> beautiful what a perfect way to start and what exactly is her diagnosis um so Cheyenne was um diagnosed with down syndrome okay um a couple of hours after birth got it now she is in the middle of two other children Right, you yes. have a seventeen-year-old and a nine-year-old. Yes, I have a seventeen-year-old and a and a nine-year-old, and she is um, my middle kiddo, so she's smack in the middle. <laughs> and as I told you guys before we start, I'm in the middle also, so I have a particular fondness to to middles to the middle children. <laughs> yeah. So. Cheyenne, tell me about your birthday. We're having a virtual birthday party, I heard. Is that true? Yes. Yes. And do, I think you have a couple of friends. Are, are maybe Michaela and Tatum going to be there? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And I know you're very eager to see them again face to face, but for right now, this is this is probably the safest way for you to be with them and still celebrate your birthday. You excited for today? I guess I'm so excited. <laughs> you guys are excited. <laughs> and there's something very special on your birthday cake. What is gonna be on your ber birthday cake today? Um your favorite show i think full house, full house that's what i heard and that is your absolute favorite show and i believe that hmm, let me see if you can remember who's your favorite character again my favorite character in full house still it is who do you like on full house on the show ivy yacht 
You really loved it, but who do you like? Kimmy or DJ or Stephanie? Steve. Steve? She likes Steve. <laughs> okay, but I think, and I think you also really like DJ. That's what I heard. I'm going to say DJ and Steve. DJ and Steve. Yeah, Both. that's what I think. DJ and Steve. And how amazing that you are like one of the, the biggest fans, I think, of Full House and that you watch it a lot. Right? And that's why it's on your birthday cake. How perfect. But I also know that somebody likes to jump on a trampoline. Do you like to jump on a trampoline? Yeah, I guess my mama is. She likes to jump on the trampoline with her friends. I love that. I wouldn't mind doing that too. If we had one, I would love to jump on a trampoline. Do you ever jump with mom on the trampoline? No. No? Nap. Are you getting tired? <laughs> Are you take a nap? You want me to take a nap? Yeah. <laughs> Very much. Melanie, if you um, had to maybe give some pearls of wisdom to another parent out there that maybe is just starting their journey with Down syndrome, what would that be now that you're 11 years in? Yeah, okay. 11, 11 years in. <laughs> um, I think it would be to try to surround yourself as much as you can with a positive community. Um, when my daughter was born, we had a community around us that was somewhat negative in the beginning, a lot of misinformation from doctors that didn't really understand um, the capabilities that individuals with Down syndrome can have. And so um, I think if a parent has a child with Down syndrome, as much as you can reach out to parent groups um, of other parents that have children with Down syndrome. I think that's like your biggest um, source of help is just to see and listen to the to other stories of parents that have been there and and to meet other children with down syndrome if if you're if you're coming into this whole new world um the more people you meet with down syndrome the more you understand and the less scary it seems because it's really not scary it's just in the beginning when everything's so new i, I think so. that could kind of be scary so just just to be in a really good positive community i love that and support it sounds like that was incredibly supportive for you to be in a positive community with people that really understand what you are experiencing and can help support each other right um when my daughter was born we just got a, a lot of, and it's really sad to say um, that was 11 years ago. I'm, I'm hoping it, it, it has changed somewhat over the past decade, but um, we had received some negative information in the beginning, but um, Cheyenne had an occupational therapist in the hospital that introduced us to her friend that had a daughter with Down syndrome. And that was probably like, it was life changing. I, I, I remember it to this day because um, just meeting another parent, that first parent you meet and they share their story with you and they let you meet their child with Down syndrome and they tell you their experience um, is totally uplifting. Um, and it, it just brings so much comfort and it's like, okay, I can, I can do this. This, this really, um, this journey really is a blessing. And um, I like it. Yeah, she's she's been. I I could go on and on for ever of just the different miracles I've seen just by having Cheyenne. Yeah, how oh, beautiful! And you are are going to bring that joy to everybody watching this. So thank you for being so authentic and and honest and helpful because this is this is why our show needs to exist so that others can feel a part of something bigger than them and see the beauty and the miracle of, of the Cheyennes out there. And that's, that's just the, the bottom line of it. So before we go, I'd like to ask all my guests about 
what the future looks like. What is what is the vision? What is the 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 big dreams of both Cheyenne and you for Cheyenne? So Cheyenne, what what do you think? What would you love to be able to do in life? Would you maybe like to meet DJ or Steve? Would that be fun? DJ and Steve? Do you want to see him? Yeah. No. No. Maybe. Maybe tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow. But that is definitely, I think, on her bucket list. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. Well, let's go cast a full house. We have a tremendous fan here, so let's try to make that happen. <laughs> and how about you, Melanie? What would be your hopes and dreams and wishes for Cheyenne? Um, my hopes and dreams for her are just to be as independent as possible. Um, I've never treated her as though she has a disability. I look at her the same way as I do my other two children. And I know I still need to make modifications for her, but I, I try to really push her for her, to her fullest potential. And so just, um, I would just like to see her as independent as possible. And she is really into dancing. Um, before this started, she was um, getting into acting classes. And oh. I think on that um, avenue, just to break down barriers um, and to show the world and to break down stereotypes that people that are born um, with special needs are capable of anything. And um, it, I feel like if God wants to use her that way, um, I believe he is. I just don't know how, uh, he already has, but I, it's gonna be interesting to see as she gets older, how he's gonna use her next to break down um, stereotypes and, to, and just to build acceptance um, into our world. And, and I would like to see her get married if she, want, if she ever wanted to get married and um, go to college. Um, and, and have a career and, and to just be happy, whatever she chooses to be. I love it. I wanna see all those things as well. And I can't wait to watch her do each and every one of them. Cause I, I really believe that she will. And I believe our world is, is in the process of, of changing and, and we are doing our part to rebrand who people with disabilities are. So thank you so much for, for joining us, for being on the show. Thank you, Cheyenne. It was so wonderful to meet you. Hey, thank you. She has been having fun all morning long for her birthday. <laughs> oh my God. I think she's starting to tire out from her birthday. <laughs> Delicious. Well, if you thank you so much for having us. Thank you. And, 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 oh, and thank you for all you're doing for people um, with special needs and making a way for them in, in, in this world. I appreciate you. Oh, I appreciate you just back. And, and we have to do it together or else we're never gonna make change happen. So from one mother to another, I let's do it. Let's change this world. Amen, definitely. <laughs> Thank you. If you would Thank like you. to be on the Gamut Network, please email us at talent at gametmanagement.com to tell us why you'd be a great guest. Please also don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel at the Gamut Network, as well as follow us on social media at Gamut Management. Thank you again, Melanie. Bye. Thank you. Have a good day. Bye-bye. <laughs>